Good morning and welcome to another photo adventure. We've got up early this morning because we've got clear skies, light high wispy clouds. I'll just try and point the GoPro up to look at that. Look at them beautiful pinks just coming. Join me in a minute and we're going to get set up and try and catch this beautiful sunrise. There's not much cloud but it is already going pink and pastel pinks and looks beautiful it does. So I want to get set up quick and I'll catch you in a minute. So because the sun is coming up behind the mountains opposite, I, what I'm going to do with this shot is I am going to bracket. I am loving the cloud down to my left as you're looking at it now. That looks beautiful, that is going very pink up to the north as well. So I might actually try and shoot different angles there, maybe left and right. Betsy, come here. Um, but because it is, the, the, the sun is behind the hill, we're in total shade here, I'm going to uh, bracket the shots just to get the dynamic range that I want and get the, the light in the foreground. I'm going to light the mountain up as well and then darken it down for the beautiful sky. It's looking fantastic. There's a beautiful orange glow in the water now. So I'm going to grab a couple of shots and I'll talk you through the camera, back of the camera as well. So for this composition, I'll just talk you through what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot the first shot at two stops overexposed, just to get detail in the mountain and mainly the foreground. I'm focusing on the farthest rock and this should give me good focus throughout the image. So I'll take the shot and then I'm going to come back down to zero just for that beautiful sky and the beautiful reflection in the water. The settings for this, I'm just shooting ISO 100, I'm at f11 and adjusting the the meter to get two stops overexposed. That is giving me 0 0.4 of a second and come back down to zero and I'm on a tenth of a second. Uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. It's a shame about there's a, a, an aeroplane trail going straight through the shot which is a shame but uh, it's been a while since I've got colour like this so I'm, I'm happy I'll put it on for you right now So all I'm doing today is I am just chasing this light, this beautiful sky. I'm now going to try and get a couple of shots pointing down that way. You see this, the sky looks beautiful. Um, but I'm literally just working one little small area and I'm just finding just different compositions throughout this little area. Um, again I'm down at Loch Nakeel. It's a beautiful little area and you cannot go wrong here. There are photographs to be had absolutely everywhere it is just an amazing place um, so yeah I'm gonna just come down on the rocks I'm probably gonna come onto the rocks down here now and shoot across and try and get down to that beautiful color there and then I may turn and go the other way because I'll just turn you around if I don't slip on these rocks and break my neck we have some beautiful pastel salmon oranges and pinks going off in the sky it looks absolutely fantastic here what a morning I've had rain every day and today this is we had a bit of a sunrise yesterday it wasn't much um, but today he's making up for it I wish there was a bit more cloud but I'm not gonna mind it's it's beautiful so join me and I'll talk you through another shot facing the other direction so again, I'm going to bracket the shots. I'm just going to take two shots. 
I'm going to focus on the farthest rock away, which is just over there. And I'm going to get the shot. And then I'm going to keep the focus there. But I am, I am two stops overexposed just to get brightness in this foreground. So I've got detail there. I'm now going to come down. And I'm going to go a little bit wild here. I'm going to come just straight down to minus one compensation just for the sky and the reflection and I'm going to get that shot with, with, with shots like this it does pay to to bracket your shots and you can either set up auto exposure bracketing and just set the camera to zero and let you shoot two stops either side of zero um, or you can do it manually which I prefer to do because you can get a better blend um, on the images and it looks absolutely incredible. The um, I'm going to have a look at the time. I don't know what time it is. Sunrise is supposed to be around 8:30, just after. So we've pretty much got 10 minutes to go. Um, I did come out early just to try and catch this. It looks beautiful. The oranges are fading now. There's some beautiful pink up to the north. I'll just turn you around and show you. Just look at that pink, absolutely stunning. So I'm now going to move across these rocks and I'm going to try and shoot something with maybe these same rocks in the foreground and try and incorporate some of this pink. We have got telegraph poles and cables in the shot looking that way, which I don't really want. But the sky does look incredible. I've lost Betsy again, she's just chased after a little bird that's just flew. So I'm going to get her first because there are a few sheep in the field over the back. Um, she doesn't chase sheep but I don't want a farmer to see her anywhere near them really. So I get Betsy and I'll talk you through another shot. So sunrise has now happened and the colours are just starting to fade. I'm just trying to catch the last of the colours. There are, you're not going to see it on the GoPro, but just out here, there are a pair of otters just out swimming early in the morning. I think they're fishing. Um, every now and then you get a big swirl when they come up and then you just watch them just dive back down again. There are otters all over this island. It's, it's, it's a beautiful place. Betsy, come here. Um, it is, it is fantastic just to sit and watch them, even if they don't come to shore so you can't get the photographs. It's still nice to be able to say, you've seen otters in the wild just fishing. Um, it's a beautiful sight, beautiful sight. I think I'm going to move on now. I'm going to have a drive around the island and see what else I can catch. The thing that's spoiling this shot for me now is the amount of airplane trails that I'm in the sky some contrails um, I don't want a sky full of contrails which I've got now so there's a lot of lot of jets up this morning so I'm gonna give this neck here and I'm gonna go and find something else to shoot farther around the island there's a little old rusty tin boat that I want to try and go and get I don't know if the tides high enough it's not as high as yesterday so it may not have any water on it high tide I think is about quarter past nine, so I've got half an hour to get round there and catch oil tired. But um, yeah, I'm going to go and try and catch that, I think, and do another video there. So, as always, drop me a comment if you like these photographs and check out the description below. There's links to all the gear that I use and everything else. Please like, subscribe, and until next time, take it easy. Enjoy the photos, enjoy the sunrise.